it's my great pleasure to speak here today, not only because William is my friend, not only because there are wonderful people in this room, but also because I usually go to the fitness center in the neighboring room, so I feel home, actually. Uh, the question William asked me uh, that I should define what is talent. It's a very difficult question. It's easy to feel, actually we can feel talent in this room right now, but it's difficult to define. If the same question would have been asked from me 20 years ago, my answer would have been straightforward. I would say, that time, the talent is equal with IQ. That was the stage, what we have learned at the time, but now we know much, much more about talent, and we know that it is a multifactorial miracle, actually. Uh, you may have, actually, the component, which is cognitive talent, which has the part of IQ, but it has also memory, it has also uh, uh, the analysis of, of, of the situation, problem solving, and, and all the components of cognitive thinking, uh, what, you, what, you, what you exercise in your life. But we also have several other components of talent, like the emotional part of talent, like the perseverance. Uh, there were many speakers, or there will be many speakers, who said in their introduction that the most important they learned in this course, that they will never give up. Now, this is a part of talent. Never give up your aims, never give up your goals, never give up the vision you have about life, about your own life. And last but not least, creativity is an important segment of talent. In Hungary, we, we have a quite big knowledge of creativity. I think partly because of the history of this country. We always were trying to survive in this region, and that required a lot of creativity. When I was in Singapore, I was invited to the best high school of that country, which is winning all the Olympics in mathematics, physics, whatever. And after a while, uh, I was surrounded by, the, by a number of young guys, and they told me that, Professor, we heard that you have half an hour until you have to start to the airport. Could you teach us creativity in this half an hour, please? <laughs> Uh, I think we don't really need that here in Hungary, uh, so this part of talent is kind of natural, natural uh, in this country. Uh, however, what is creativity? To change your viewpoint, to change roles, uh, uh, to remain forever young and playful, please keep your youth, uh, all speakers and all people in the room, because it's not depending on your biological age. It is depending in your soul, on your soul, which is inside. Uh, however, when you are young, then you have to be wise, as, as William already mentioned. You have to figure out what is the optimal solution of all, and you have to, be, you have to exercise that one. You have to go for it. Uh, creativity with capital C, as Csikszentmihalyi, uh, Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, the famous Hungarian psychologist who is living in the United States, defined it, is to open a new dimension. Like you would be a dolphin among fishes. All the fishes are swimming around and you are conquering the air by jumping out of this water. This is creativity with capital C. So I wish you to conquer new dimensions, to open new dimensions for you and for others to play, to, to feel joy in life. Now, at the end, uh, I, I just would like to say three plus one advice. The first one is like life flow. You may know Csikszentmihalyi's uh, concept of flow, which is uh, when I enjoy my work, when I enjoy what I am doing, I enjoy myself growing during that work. That is kind of a flow feeling. Now, if you can extend it to your life and you are not afraid about new challenges, new situations, but, but, you, but you know that I will cope with that, I, I will learn from it, then it's coming a continuous uh, uh, experience through your life. So that's what I call life flow. Now, the second is think big. Uh, especially in small countries, we sometimes forget about thinking big. Uh, however, in Hungary, we are usually thinking big, sometimes too big. So what is the precious and proper uh, expression of this hint, of this advice, that think the largest what you are able to do. Uh, kind of honor yourself with the most difficult task what you think you are able to do. 
And that will develop you forever. That will develop you to the next stage and to the next stage and after that. And the last of the first three, and that there will be a plus one, advice. I'm a professor of network science at the Samuel University. So my last advice is to network. So know people, not only at your table today, but go and know others in the room. Because there is a tremendous wisdom in this room and, and you, you should enjoy it, you should explore it. And I think if you follow that through life, then you will learn many, many, many new experiences. The last sentence I would like to share with you today, tonight is a sentence of Khalil Gibran, the famous Lebanon uh, thinker who was living in the United States. And he said that work is love made visible. Now this sentence, work is love made visible, became my life sentence in the last couple of years because it has several meanings. The first meaning is in the present. When you, when you think about your work, that a love, then you enjoy your work, then you enjoy yourself during your work, work and you enjoy your growth during your work. But it's not only about the present, it's also about the future because you, you love not only your work and yourself while you are working, but you also love the people who will benefit from your work later on. Now, this is the future. If you, if you do something and you do it right, then some people will like it. Those people are the people whom you love when you, you, when you do your work really as it should be done. Now, last, it's in the past because your love is not only coming from yourself, but it's coming from your parents. It's coming from their parents. So it's actually the love of the mankind, what has been collected so far, what you push into your work, and what you give to the others who will benefit you from your work. So think about this, that work is love made visible. Thank you.